150 years ago, members of St. Peter's Lutheran Church believed that it was essential to provide a Christian school for children of the congregation to attend. While students will learn the academic basics, such as reading, writing, and arithmetic, more importantly, students would intentionally learn about Jesus. So, in the fall of 1863, St. Peter's Lutheran School was born. The prayerful involvement of the members of St. Peter's has been apparent from the very beginning. From the first building serving as both church and school, to new schoolhouses built in the early 1870s, 1887, and 1940. Continued support of the growing school is demonstrated through additions built in the 1950s and 1960s to the current school building that was constructed in 2003. While St. Peter's Lutheran School has been blessed with tremendous facilities over the past 150 years, buildings are not what has defined our school ministry. It's the love of Jesus evidenced through our students and teachers. Chelsea Patberg writes, In all that I do, my teachers are here to guide me. Not only do they teach me the important book skills that I need to know, but also the life skills that will help me in the long run. They are the people who I can confide in and trust. They also steer me in the right direction, which is towards God and the love that He provides. The teachers are a major part of the goodness that St. Peter's is all about. My favorite thing about St. Peter's is that we have nice teachers. My favorite thing about St. Peter's are the teachers because they're really nice and caring and they make learning fun. My favorite thing about St. Peter's is the teachers because they give us a good Christian education. What I like about St. Peter's the most is that we get to learn about God and our teachers are very nice. I, I taught 48 years altogether, three years in Minnesota and um, 45 years here in Columbus and I just, some of the years were challenging, other years were easier, but um, I just, as I reflect back, I think how the Lord was with me all that time and he helped me, he gave me the strength and, and the, the desire to be a teacher, and I enjoyed every one of my classes. Dolores Strittlemeyer was my first grade teacher. And I, our class was huge, over 40 kids, uh, but delightful. Uh, Dolores did a great job. Um, I can remember that we split up into little groups that year for reading. So I always thought Dolores was way ahead of her time and uh, she knew teaching methods that didn't exist. You know, she knew that she was way ahead of the curve and just did a great job with us. Uh, we, when you stepped into the school, the children came, you were on duty all day. You had no specials, you taught music, you taught art, uh, PE, we exercised in the classroom or we went out for recess and that was our PE class. You had lunchroom duty, you had recess duty, so you were really tired at the end of the day, and I'm sure the children were too. We only have three teachers, and they taught all eighth grades. And when we had recess, they would all come to Mary Comar's room, and she would watch out the window to see whether the kids were all playing together, the aim of themselves that we all knew. So we tried to behave. <laughs> uh, my favorite memory of St. Peter's is the biblical knowledge uh, and also just the character development. I just think you couldn't come out of St. Peter's without knowing a lot about the Bible and how to apply it to your life. They saw to it that we had a Christian education. Jenna Abram says about St. Peter's, St. Peter's has crafted me with God's hands for the past seven years. The school and church has helped me teach to be a disciple of Jesus. Teachers have also sparked my faith in God. Finally, my friends and I have been shown how to be Christ-like, and I feel we do just that. It has been 150 years for the school, only seven years for me, but St. Peter's has always been at the hands of God crafting students to be disciples of Jesus. 